Its total population is less than 300 people. But a small town in the east continues to flourish, and it's all thanks to one of its most legendary residents. Meteorologist Pierce leads and explains in this week's People in Places with Pierce. We're off the beaten path, and so you really need to look it up and see where you're going to come here. Historic Bath, the town of less than 300, hasn't changed much since its beginning. Bath was established as our first town um, in 1705 and slowly was populated with a variety of folks who were looking at the town as a shipping spot with the protected harbor. The state's first incorporated town and first port is full of stories to tell. Blackbeard the Pirate uh, has a long history attached to Bath. He came to Bath to sign the King's pardon to give up piracy, and he did that under Governor Eden here. Legend has it that Blackbeard made his home here for a time in the town of Bath. That legend says that he had a home off to the left here, heading out to the Pamlico River from the town of Bath. Right across that waterway, he had an interesting friend. Governor Eden. There's a lot of stories about how Governor Eden and Blackbeard were in each other's pockets. Governor Eden would look the other way when Governor when Blackbeard was doing his thing and Governor Eden would somehow get extra barrels of whatever in his storehouse. I'm sure some people were afraid of him. He looked um, the pirate part. He had a long beard and um, made himself look frightening on the seas, but here he probably tried to clean up a little bit and be welcomed into the town. We're not sure if he gave up piracy altogether or because of some of the things he had done. Despite his best effort, Blackbeard's past would eventually catch up with him. In 1718, he captured a boat that he renamed the Queen Anne's Revenge. He then traveled around the coasts of the colonies that year and then later in 1718 he ran aground off the coast of Beaufort Harbor. He was captured by troops out of Virginia and beheaded. His head was brought back to Bath Harbor on a spit to demonstrate to the residents that piracy was dead. Piracy may have died with him, but Blackbeard's story certainly never has. It's been very romanticized over time as to what pirates were and, and what they did and how they operated. A lot of people come because of the mystery of Blackbeard. They want to know more about him. And this small town continues to flourish thanks to his legendary tale. For Bath, it means that tourism will always be something that we have as part of our economic base. A friendly, charming town with a very deep past in Bath. Beaufort County, Pierce Legion, not on your side. Now be sure to tune in over the next several weeks as a pirate themed people in places with Pierce is set to continue. Pierce always looking for interesting and unique people and places to visit here in the East. If you have one, send him an email or connect with him on social media. Blackbeard, without a doubt, the most famous pirate of all time. I think if there's no Blackbeard, ECU, maybe they wouldn't be the pirates. They might be the red foxes or the catfish or who knows what the mascot would be. Those are our options. I like I the pirates much more. I'm glad that Blackbird too. be here. It fits is a for this area yes. and that university. It fits. And Queen Anne's Revenge, very interesting history mm -hmm. all along our coast and right here again at ECU with that yes. research taking place here. Interesting stuff.